This video is all about books my fifth graders are reading and loving. Welcome to the Teacher's Playbook, a channel for teachers made by a teacher. I'm Melanie and I teach fifth grade. Let's talk about some of the books my kids are currently loving. The first one is this one, Fight for Freedom. It is a beautiful nonfiction book about the Revolutionary War, which we are studying in social studies right now. And I have a student who um, is really into nonfiction and wanted to know more about our topic and found this to be a great read. Another book I have a child completely fascinated by is Neptune's Honor. This is a book about local history. Where I live, we have a large park it's Oceanside, there's a pier. Well, the name of the park is Neptune Park, and a lot of people assume that the park is named after Neptune, God of the Sea, because it's next to the ocean, but it was actually named after a slave. This is a book my kids find especially fascinating because it relates to their community. Restart is a book I am considering reading aloud next year because I have so many kids that have liked it this year. It's about a boy who's in an accident and can't remember his former self. And he was a jock and honestly, he was kind of a jerk. And then he has this accident and he forgets his past self and becomes someone new. And it's his journey dealing with new friends, old friends, his parents and the relationship he had with siblings before and after. It's a fantastic book with a lot of very relevant lessons for our fifth graders. One of my more reluctant readers has been, has just finished D-Day, social studies kind of guy. He's just fascinated with World War II and found this to be a good read. Resistance is a book by Jennifer Nielsen that just keeps getting passed around fifth grade, boys and girls. My kids love it. Again, another World War II book, always a popular topic. And then there is Sweep. Sweep is starting to gain momentum in my fifth grade class. I've had two girls read it and they're so excited when they book talk it. They absolutely love that the bad guy's name is Crud. They, <laughs> they're so entertained. The story is fascinating. They love it. I don't know, I don't even know what else to say. It's about an orphan girl her journey and who she has to deal with and this Mr. Crud that is just so terrible. It's a fantastic story and like I said, it's gaining momentum around fifth grade. Another book, getting rave reviews from fifth graders, is Out of My Mind. This is the story of a child who is disabled, unable to communicate her thoughts or really show her intelligence to others. I would have to say three of my more advanced readers oohed and awed over this book. They uh, found the story just so intriguing and entertaining and they really felt for the character Melody. A book new to our library that kids are excited to read but I haven't read yet is First Rule of Punk. It's about a girl at a new school who immediately ticks off sort of the queen bee of her school and how she adjusts to that, how she deals with a father who lives far away, and her relationship with her mother. Again, I haven't read it, but the kids um, begged me to order this one because they were hearing such good things about it. All of the books mentioned today have been very popular in my fifth grade class this year, and I love how the kids will book talk and sell their friends on reading these books. It's just fun to watch the excitement grow and now that we're in March everyone is completely bought in and it's thrilling as a teacher to watch the excitement for reading run through the classroom. If you haven't considered subscribing, I hope you will. Thanks for watching.